Alright, hey, what's up, guys? So, I'm working right now on a song called Chillin'. It's not completely done, but the chorus is basically simple. Um, I wanted to explain how I'm playing Chillin', because this uh, Rolling Stone type of hippie song. So, it's a real simple song. What you're going to do is you're going to play your A chord, and I don't know what this other chord is called, but basically you're always going to want to play your A chord, so your three fingers right here. And so you're going to make... It's cool you can let go of the bottom one, so this one, you can let go of this finger, watch. And then you're going to want to hit the D string. You're going to do that little, you know, guns and, or what do you call it, the guns and roses thing, the sweet child of mine. And back to the A. You can let let it go, just let it go, uh, the bottom one go, and then move it up, and bring it down. So what I did here is um, I forgot what this fret's called, but basically it's like an A, but it's one bar up. So basically you're just moving one one string up. So it goes from, and then you go on to. Wait, wrong one, wrong one. And you can go to the top one right here. And it's like it's real fun to play with because you can do like kiss songs. I think strutters like it, you know, but it's like But anyways, um that's how to play some part. And after you learn basically just a simple threat, it should come up and you should hear something like this. That wasn't a good example, so I'll try to do it again. Um, I might just edit that out, actually. But anyway, so I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna try to explain the thing. So yeah, hold on. So this is what it should sound like. And before I talk, before I start, I wanted to give off two more quick hints that combine in one. Um, if you want to get that extra echo sound, because there's going to be a background sound if you pay, if you listen closely to the song, what you're basically doing is you're going to, you're basically hitting the E string. You're leaving it flat, but but you're but you're keeping the A string, so it's an extra threat. See. And then obviously you can let the bottom one go, and then. And move it up one to the top string, and then you can hold three or you can hold two. See, so yeah, I'm holding three. And then you just go back to the A, then you go up one with the bottom. Oh, wait, my bad. Down, down, just let, just let it go. So this one's kind of tricky at the end because remember I said there's an echo sound? So you're basically just letting it go. So you're basically just hitting the three and the two top threads. So, so it's not like this. And then you're hitting just the two top threads. Let's see two fingers as let this one go. And then the last part, you're hitting the, the three strings but without your finger. So watch. Back just to A. So 
So hopefully that helps. You can learn a little bit. I wish I knew more of my note chords so I would teach you more, but that's as simple as it is. I'm a lefty, so hopefully, um, I don't know, because I know there's more righties than lefties, so hopefully it's not too difficult, but uh, just follow the pattern, and it's just a, it's just the top, top thread, so you know. You know, hopefully that can give you some guidance. It's real simple. You just you know move your bottom finger, and it's it's real crazy because you can just move patterns. Um, and then so I'm gonna end the video right here, and then also I just want to end some some simple tricks everybody talks about. So it's nothing really fancy. Probably other people have done this before, but hopefully I can give like some simple tips on like how to help with guitar because it's it's probably one of the easiest instruments to learn. It really, really is. Um, yeah, but uh, we'll uh, we'll talk about that in another video. So, peace. Have a good one. Stay safe.